Welcome back to Booze on the Rocks. My name is David Edwards. For those of you friends returning, thank you very much. And for those of you that are new to the channel, this is where we make cocktails for everyone. Now, today we're talking about the Surfer on Acid, and we're going to make my preferred version. Now, the original was made by Eric Tukoski in LA in the 1990s, and he was, in that bar that he was working at, three ladies came in and asked for the drink. Now, originally this cocktail was made in shot form, actually. But after he fiddled with it for a bit, he came out with the drink that we know today, being a one to one to one ratio. However, that leaves something a little bit flat to me. So let's get into talking about the ingredients. Now the original Surfer with Acid had three ingredients and the first one starts with Jägermeister. Now everybody knows Jägermeister from Jäger bombs and their college days and getting wasted. However, this is a German herbal liqueur that's been around since 1934 and it contains 56 different ingredients. The second ingredient was a coconut flavored rum. Now in this case, we're using Malibu coconut flavored rum, and this is most likely what you would have found in a bar during the 90s at that time. The third ingredient is pineapple juice. Now I'm using a cold pressed pineapple juice with no sugar added. However, my preferred addition also contains lime to help even it out and brighten up the flavors a little bit, and agave syrup. Now agave syrup is twice as sweet as a simple syrup, and it will really help adjust the levels and the flavor of this drink. Now this is a shaken cocktail, so what you need is your shaken glass. In my case, I use the glass or a pint glass from a Boston shaker. Next, you need your coconut rum, and damn it, it's a twist top. Uh, we need one ounce or 30 milliliters. All right, <laughs> twist that back in place. Next, you're gonna grab your Jägermeister. Holy cow, this lid's... That's a good lid. Um, anyways, you need your Jägermeister. And for that, we need one ounce or 30 milliliters yet again. I'll fix that later. The next of your one to one to one ratio is your pineapple juice. And we'll use one ounce of this. Now the pineapple juice will give us a nice smooth, silky uh, texture and it'll give us a nice little foam when we shake it. Now we get to the point where I differ. Grab a lime and what we're going to do is we're going to put half a lime or technically 15 mils, so half an ounce. Put these over here. Last, we're gonna grab your agave syrup. Now for this, we're going to use basically a quarter of an ounce, so seven and a half mils, so a bar spoon and a bit more. Give that a bit of a stir there just to get that off. Mm. Yes. Now we are going to shake this, and you wanna shake this good for about eight to 10 seconds. But you also want lots of ice. Slap this down here, make sure you have a good line. Give it a flip, shake it hard with a smile. Yeah. Pop that off like so. Now grab your glass of choice. In this case, I'm just using a standard rocks glass and we're going to put this on fresh ice. And you just need just enough to fill the glass. Much better. And now we're just going to fine strain this. I'm not worried about uh, any little ice chunks or not. Totally up to you. If you want to, you can fine strain this. Look at that. Now we're going to garnish it with one single pineapple frond. Beautiful. Let's give it a smell. It smells really, really good. You immediately get small hints of coconut and a little bit of the Jägermeister. It's not overpowering. It just, it sits there fresh and you, you just really want to try it. Oh, really good. You immediately get a small hint of the anise from the, uh, the Jägermeister. You have it followed by the coconut and the pineapple juice and the lime just sort of levels it out and it's just sweet enough with the addition of the agave syrup. It doesn't make it oversweet like you would think, but it is a nice level cocktail, which is really, really good. So easy to drink.
Mm. What I'll do is I'll put the ingredients and a method of how to make both this and the original down in the description down below. If you think I should make any different adjustments to this cocktail, please leave a comment down below as well. And if it's your first time to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time I put up a new video, you will be notified. And if you'd like to help support the channel, please check us out at patreon.com forward slash booze on the rocks because every little bit helps us to bring these videos to you. Have a great afternoon. The original ingredient leaves something to... What did I do to the lid? <laughs>